Sammy here, Sunday night at the club. What a crazy weekend. So, what kind of sports do I like? And that's an interesting question because I don't like sports. Now, let, let's take a step back. So, high school, I played uh, football. And I was, because of my age difference between me and my uh, friends, I got to play senior football. Um, because I came to Canada late, like I came to Canada when I was six or seven, sorry. Uh, so I, um, I was born in December, so I got, my parents chose to either keep me back a grade or, you know, put me with the kids my own age. So I would have been um, six months younger than everybody. Now I'm six months older than everybody. So it gave me a chance to learn English before I went into school. So anyway, because of that, I got to play senior football. And I really liked it. It was fun, you know, walking through high school with the sports jersey and all that. But I never really liked team sports. I never got into it. Basketball, football, soccer, hockey. I'm Canadian. I don't like hockey. I can't follow the puck. I don't understand it. Um, you know, you follow a team, but the players change every year or even halfway through the year. So, I mean, do you follow the player or do you follow the team? That's mm, something I've never really understood. Um, I do kind of like golf as I got older and a little bit of tennis because of the strategy. Um, I don't like watching golf like the whole following it. I wa like to watch the highlights of the, the shots. I kind of like that. Strategy games I like. Darts, pool, you know, those are kind of interesting, but not to watch from beginning to end, like just to watch the highlights, right? Um, but here's where it gets strange. I like individual sports. Downhill skiing, adrenaline sports. Not like mountain biking or climbing or skydiving or anything like that. Like, like downhill skiing because I ski. So then uh, the other thing I like is that uh, auto racing. I love auto racing. So why do I like auto racing? Well, again, I used to race cars when I was young. Um, I discovered at the age of about 14, 15, Formula One. And it used to be on early morning Sundays because live it would play out in Europe uh, on you know Sunday afternoons, which is Sunday morning in Canada. Um, so I would be watching Formula One, and the players that I the team the, the drivers uh, you follow the drivers. You don't follow the the, 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 the team. You follow the driver. So in those days, I used to like Ayrton Senna, Keke Rosberg, Alain Prost, Nigel Mansell. I didn't like Nigel Mansell, but he was a great driver. Um, you know, all the famous drivers from those times. And then it, what happened was, also, I mean, I lived in Toronto, so I followed IndyCar racing because it raced in Toronto. Um, now, a lot of people say, you know, they don't understand Formula One or auto racing or whatever. I'm um, oh, sorry, let me take a step back. So, I started out with Formula One and naturally latched on to IndyCar racing, which is the same as, as Formula One, except IndyCar racing is North American, Formula One is predominantly European. The cars are a little bit different, rules are a little bit different. Formula One, they only race road courses or racing tracks that go left and right. IndyCar uh, races road courses, race tracks, and ovals. So they'll go in the circle. They'll also race road courses like in Toronto uh, and race tracks like, you know, Imola or whatever, or Las Vegas or, you know, those kinds of. Uh, uh, pre-built racetrack. So then what happened was IndyCar had a, a situation where the, the league split into Kart and Indy. And what happened is you took like you know 30 or 40 cars and now it's like 
15, 16 cars in one league and another 15, 16 cars in another league. So it totally ruined it. And, you know, you got these, like, there's no competition in it. So I really kind of lost interest in IndyCar racing and kart racing when they, when they split up. They eventually joined back up again, but I lost interest in it. So, and then what happened in Formula One was um, the dominance of Ferrari and Nigel Mans, um, Michael Schumacher. You know, you'd have Michael Schumacher go out in front and he's 30 seconds in front of everybody racing by himself. So the cameras are focusing on the second and third place cars or fourth and fifth place cars. And, you know, it got really boring. It's just watching uh, Michael Schumacher go around the track. It's just a waste of time. There's no passing. So that got boring for me. And I discovered NASCAR. And I became a huge fan of NASCAR. Prime time on Saturday afternoons, Sunday afternoons, uh, 44 cars racing three wide, inches apart for three, four, five hundred miles. Four hours of breakneck speeds. Huge passing opportunities. Huge strategy. And just incredible racing. People say, you know, it's just going around in a circle. It's actually not. An oval is a straight line with three left turns. So three straight lines, or a tri-oval, is three straight lines and one, two, one, two, three left turns. Uh, Daytona Super Speedway, you're getting speeds of upwards of... Uh, 200 miles an hour, so just under 400 kilometers an hour. And they're flat out. And they use aerodynamics. And there's pit strategies. It's incredible racing. And then you have, of course, the accidents. You know, you've got 20 cars in a pack, and one car wipes out. It's taken 10 cars with it. So some of the heroes that I've followed and loved was Ayrton Senna, who tragically died in the later 80s in, uh, Im in um, Imola, Italy. Um, Canadian superstar Jacques Villeneuve, who died in Belgium in the early 80s. Um, one of the greatest drivers in the world, Dale Earnhardt Sr., who died in the final laps of the 2001 Daytona 500. Um, and Greg Moore, Canadian IndyCar racer, who died um, in the late 90s, early, early 2000s, uh, in a spectacular crash. Uh, I had actually met him the year before he died uh, in Toronto. So those are my drivers that I've followed and, and loved. I mean, I followed NASCAR a little bit. I'll watch the super speedways. I'll watch Daytona, the season opener, Talladega. Uh, the all-star race uh, and night, the night racing at Daytona and the second race at Talladega. I like the super speedways. I do like Dover, the short track. It's a short track race. It's a very interesting race, uh, but super speedways. I'll watch Formula One. I'll watch Monaco and IndyCar. I'll watch the Indy 500, which is a spectacular race. Every four years, there's the perfect storm and you will have three races in one day. Morning, 7.30 in the morning on Sunday morning, the Monaco Grand Prix in the streets of Monaco, one of the most prestigious tracks in the world and one of the greatest races you will ever watch, Formula One cars racing in the streets of Monaco. So that happens in the morning and that is an amazing race. Then you have a couple, about 90 minute break and then the start of the Indianapolis 500. So the Monaco race right lasts about two hours. Then you have the Indy 500, which is about four hours long. And then you have the night race at uh, the Coca-Cola 600 at Daytona. And it's a night race under the lights. And so that's 600 miles. So you have the Daytona 500, 600 miles at, uh, sorry, the Indy 500, 
and then the Daytona 500, 600, so that's 1,100 miles, and then the Formula One race is about 150 miles. So, you know, it's a huge racing day. I remember my girlfriend at the time was, um, she said, oh, what are you going to do today? Oh, I'm going to watch auto racing. So she knew I was a fan, so she was like, oh, okay, I'll call you later. And then, you know, in the afternoon calls me, what are you doing? I'm watching auto racing. Oh, it's still on? Yeah, it's another race. And she said, okay, I'll call you later. Because when I'm watching racing, I've got race face. Just staring at the TV, don't talk to me. So she calls me in the evening and she says, what are you doing? I'm watching racing. She goes, still? I go, yes, 18 and a half hours of auto racing in one day. The best race day ever. Happens once every four years. Best day ever. Uh, you know, you can't get me on the phone or on the internet that day. Uh, and that's going to happen next year. I'm looking forward to it. One day I hope to um, travel all of the tracks. I did it once when I was younger. Um, I, I've been to Portugal. I've been to um, uh, the one in the UK. Um, Formula One. I've been to a um, NASCAR race in Montreal, but it wasn't the top tier, it was the next uh, level down, so the like the B team. Um, so I've been to a couple of IndyCar races. Uh, I've been to Formula One here in Korea. And next year, maybe I'll do Shanghai and Japan Formula One, and maybe even IndyCar. I definitely want to go to Shanghai. I want to do Dubai as well, Formula One in Dubai. That's amazing. And I've even gone to the Daytona track in, um, in um, Florida uh, for vacation. I was there and I went to the track and did the track experience. It was amazing. Uh, couldn't believe it. Drove a NASCAR uh, on the track, eight laps, you know, uh, 175 miles an hour, 280 kilometers an hour absolutely the greatest thrill of my life um, so yeah that those are, that's the kind of sport I like I don't really enjoy watching any other sports you know uh, World Cup soccer eh, you know I make a joke you know if I want to watch a bunch of guys running around uh, not able to score I'll just uh, stand outside my club <laughs> anyway so those those are those are the kinds of things I like I, I actually if anybody has any comments about you know sports about Formula One auto racing any questions if you want to get into it and see why the hype is all about it let me know I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about it uh, as always please subscribe right there uh, hit the subscribe button hit the little bell button so you know I've got a, a video coming out and like and comment let me know what you think um, what else do you want to hear from me I do appreciate my loyal subscribers I, I love you guys all I appreciate that enjoying it uh, coming up I got some videos uh, uh, keep a lookout for January I'll be on vacation in, in Sri Lanka and Thailand uh, I'll be preloading some videos uh, on the history of Itaewon past, present, and future. My birthday party coming up December 25th at the club. And of course, New Year's Eve. Gotta be here for New Year's Eve. Everybody, enjoy life. Itaewon Sammy, out. <laughs>